So you can load up to 500 of these uh, cards into the DBS MS500. It was really designed for high throughput analysis of these cards. Uh, you can connect different extraction solutions and rinsing solutions to uh, the system to really also run several methods with, um, with that, within one run. You can connect up to four internal standard solutions which are uh, applied to the dry blood spot. Everything is controlled with uh, software and the software also controls the analysis system which is connected to this dry blood spot um, extraction front end. So let's take a quick look at the modules. There are three modules. Basically first the, cam the card goes into a camera. Here we, um, we scan the barcode. We do a spot recognition. So depending on the quality criteria, you can either reject or accept a spot. And we also center the, um, the extraction cell to the middle of each spot. So this is recognized automatically. Then secondly, we spray internal standards directly on the blood spot. And this is really the gold standard. Uh, if you check the literature, there have been new uh, guidelines on therapeutic drug monitoring. And this is also described as really the gold standard. Why? It's important to integrate the internal standards as early as possible into the process. And also to have it in the same format as your target analyte. And this is by means dried on the Build the paper card. And then finally, we have the extraction cell here. We jam a four millimeter area on the dry blood spot. Then we pump extraction solvent from the bottom through this blood spot back to the bottom into a sample loop or trapping column. So let's take a look at the workflow. First, the card is uh, brought to this uh, extraction cell, which you can see in the upper left part. We pump the extraction solvent through the dry blood spot into the sample loop. And this, this 10 port valve you can see in the middle is really the interface between the extraction and the LCMS analysis. So by switching this valve, we now have the loop volume integrated in our LCMS cycle. And the extract goes via the analytical column into the triple mass spec. At the very same time, we have a, a rinsing pump which flushes the extraction outlet backwards to really prevent any uh, carryover. Usually the LCMS process is the bottleneck in terms of time. So the system already prepares the next sample um, to be injected as soon as the LCMS is uh, ready again. Um, this is another uh, modified workflow. So in some cases, uh, it's not enough to take this, this loop volume. Here, for example, for lipo, lipophilic compounds, we use a trapping column. So we extract the analytes on this trapping column, and then we use an additional pump to flush this, uh, the trapped analytes backwards onto an analytical column, and then afterwards with a gradient pump into the LCMS. So you have both options. The, the system in general is quite flexible, so you can use any trapping column you like. This is not um, exclusive here. And you can have quite some various workflows, depending on your creativity of the, uh, of, of the analyst. So let's get quickly back to um, the internal standard integration to the process. As I said, the best inter internal standard integration is as early as possible into the process. And this is basically mixing it with the actual sample. However, for the dry blood spot approach, this is not possible. So the closest thing to reality would be this spray application. Another approach we can see in literature is to add the internal standard to the extraction solvent. However, depending on the age of the blood spot and also of the hematocrit value, you sometimes get a uh, different re, uh, extraction recovery. And if you have your internal standard within the extraction solvent, this can create you an additional bias and uh, create an error in your quantitative results. So therefore we really um, recommend to use this spraying approach to add the internal standard to the process. This is how the system then can look in uh, real life. 
So the required setup would be the, the Comac DBSM S5 on the IOT assembler, LC system, and a MOS spec system. So here you can see the Shimatsu 8050. However, the front end is also uh, compatible with uh, the other MOS spec suppliers.